know what I don't get? Uh, and th- there's really no answer. This is just, just kind of throwing it out there. Mm-hmm. I-, I don't understand the fascination that so many people have with the details, mostly sorted ones or perceived sorted ones or made up mm. sorted ones from other people's lives. Yeah. Most, like, of, most of it is made up stuff. I, I don't care as long as you're not committing egregious crimes yes. against anybody, but specifically women, children, and the elderly. I don't give a rat's ass what you do. I don't care who you sleep with. I wonder. I, wonder, I, I don't care. Does, does this change people's perception of Peyton Manning, do you think? Not mine. And if it does, then I think they were very much on the fence to begin with. Now, if there's more that comes to light, I'm going to take this like I do anything in life. I'll, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll accrue facts or what appear to be facts. And if I've got to change my perception, I will. Yeah. But I think he's – listen, I, I don't know how – I think at the end of the day, he's a guy. Mm-hmm. And he's a guy with a lot of money. And um, you could probably connect a few dots and, uh, you know, put it in however context you want. Yeah. I'm not condoning it. Yeah. But, but he's not but, a saint. But, uh, yeah, of course not. I mean, and anybody it, who thinks he is is a fool. Well, nobody is. And nothing. And something that happened 20 years ago, now now, now we're dissecting. Are we going to dissect it? I don't know. I mean, do people want that? I, could, I, I think some do. I could tell you this, though, Teak. Now. You sat in the trainer's room many days. I sat in the train, and I was I was always hurt, so I was always in the trainer's room. Okay, yeah. and to be honest, I used to like to go to the trainer's room because the girls' basketball team was hanging out there as well. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> track and field, man, track and field. <laughs> yeah, true, true. <laughs> and uh, soccer wasn't bad either. Uh, but anyway, so I-, I was in there a lot, and I did. I would sit there with a dip. This was the mid nineties. It was a relatively lawless environment. Do whatever you want. <laughs> And, you know, I was a half a knucklehead. I, even on my most sophomoric, juvenile, dopey day, never in my wildest imagination, ever, would I imagine, you know, placing my, my genitals on on somebody's face. Yeah. I, I would just would never do that. Nor would I. I know you wouldn't. So, I mean, if Peyton did this, I mean, is it is it the height of just, you know, an athletic gag, or is it a deeper look into maybe who? I don't know. Yeah, but the problem, I think people are trying to make, are trying to make, ask the question, or at least force the question, because this happened when Peyton was 19, 20 years old, whatever, where he was a sophomore, so probably was 19. Yep. Does that make him a bad guy? 